Hello guys, welcome back to RG Bling channel. And if you follow the video industry, and you must similar with the different video encoding formats. Uh, so we almost see the H.264 and H.265 and what it is and uh, how to use it. First, we have the common formats like MP4 and MOV. And all just see of the video package they do in duration of the video and audio. The whole decision of the video quality, the size is HEVC encoding. So what they call it is H.264 and H.265. So we can think of the MP4 and MOV format like a switcher. And how big the body type wear, how big the switcher. And really the remnant of the quality of the sweater is the material used in the sweater and uh, what the sweater is peppery. Most device today is called H.264 video encoding and uh, they also determined. It can be used in most kinds of device. For example, if you're shooting video with the H.264 in your camera, you can play and edit this directly in your computer. Then, if H.265 is upgrade version of the H.264, which is compatible with H.264 format in the same volume of the video using H.265 encoding video quality and it's higher. Because of the technology advantage of the encoding, we are widely promoting in many places. For example, the format taken by YouTube is support H.265, and the common live streaming we use is also H.265 encoding format. Most of the mobile devices support H.265 encoding because of the smart space occupied by H.265. However, RGB Link Mini and the live streaming switchers. It's a good spot for H.265 encoding. When using it for live streaming, as long as your capture device support H.265 encoding format, it can output perfect, which will not only make the live picture smoother, but also make the live picture quality better. At the same time, the users can watch the live program on the mobile device. The amount of the streams load when watching the live program on mobile device will also be less. The greatly reduce the memory of constipation of the device. At present, the capture software like VLC, VMix, Arena, and blah 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 native support H.265 encoding and OBS also supports it, but you need to install the plugin. However, with the development of the hardware, and more and more devices will support H.264 and the software also. And the exciting technology innovation will replace H.264 in a long time. So, the other video is about the H.264 and H.265 the video format encoding. So this is all about the content and thanks for watching, I will see you next time.